Hi, my name's Moira and I'm going to give you a virtual tour of the green today. So welcome to the green. I did a tour for you um, back in March, um, but I thought I'd do another one because early spring and late spring are quite different. Um, this is now the middle of May and I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. So I'll give you an overview and then I'll show you around some of the accommodation. I'll show you around the function rooms and then I'll show you around the grounds. And then once I've done the whole video, I will split it up so you can just look at the sections you're interested in. Okay, so this is um, really the middle of the venue. So if I give you kind of our setting, first of all, so I'm standing in the turning circle in the distance on the left, you can see the car park. So we try and keep the whole site car free. Um, and we use this area where I'm standing for drop off. So just over behind the trees there, you've got um, Carradon Hill. And then as I come around, you've got Kit Hill and Dartmoor in the distance, just poking through the trees. And behind us, we've got Bodmin Moor as well. Um, this is right in front of me between the two oak trees is the arbor we've got this is the oak arbor we've got two options for an outdoor ceremony um, and this is one of them it's 10 o'clock in the morning so it's a little bit in shade at the moment but you would get more direct sunlight down there as the as the day as it gets a bit later in the day um as i come around you've got the side of the big barn which has got um, three of our cottages in it. I'm just going to walk down and let you see the front of that. That's the woodland that you can see now. The woodland goes quite a long way in that direction. And this is the big barn which is split into three cottages. One on the top at the left that sleeps four, one at the top on the right that sleeps four and one on the bottom that sleeps six. And we can accommodate 42 altogether. As I come up, you can see um, the building with the tables and chairs outside. That's our bar. And then to the left of the bar, you can hopefully see in the distance a building with red brick columns. That's our main function room, the red brick barn. Beyond that, we've got the really rustic barn. The little building there that you can see with the wooden doors and the red ridge tiles that's our wedding barn which we use for indoor ceremonies we've got two indoor and two outdoor licensed locations and then as i swing around again you can see the house so the that's the original farmhouse it sleeps 12 people it's got seven bedrooms and then as i come around again you've got cottage number one which sleeps two people so sometimes the couple have this one and then back around to the entrance and then this is cottage number two that sleeps four people okay the rest of the accommodation is an additional five rooms that sleep 10 people but I'll point them out in a minute so that's the overview very secluded um, and lovely and peaceful I can hear a few sheep and birds and things but not much else um, so I'm going to take you into cottage number two no, I'm not actually, because I think I did that the last time. I'm going to take you into cottage number three and cottage number five. So, and then I'm going to take you into the house. So now I'm going to show you the accommodation. So yeah, this woodland here goes quite a long way um, down. And then at the bottom, there's a small lake and some river frontage as well. And there's another arbor down there at the lake. So I'm just coming up the stairs. Cottage number three is upstairs. So you get a little bit more of the view from up here. So you, if you've watched the video that I did in March, you actually um, probably get slightly longer views because, because the leaves aren't on the trees. And then that's over towards Kit Hill. Uh, sorry, Cardon Hill in that direction. That's Kit Hill and Dartmoor over there. 
And he's just looking down at the woodland, down at the arbour. Okay, so I'm going to go into cottage number three. Actually, I'm not, because <laughs> I haven't opened it up. Sorry, I'm going to go back to cottage number two and cottage number five. Sorry about that. So I'll do cottage number five first. Um, which I don't think I did in my last video and then I'll pop over to cottage number two. So this cottage sleeps six people. It's got three bedrooms. So I'm just coming into the lounge now. So all the cottages um, are five star gold, which is the highest rating you can get for self-catering accommodation. And these doors obviously completely open up to that view which is lovely and your guests can pay directly for the accommodation which comes off the price you would pay for your wedding and lots of our couples do do that so this one's got two king rooms and one twin room we do have some virtual tours on the website that also show um, more of the accommodation. There's two bathrooms in this one. Bathrooms are all quite similar. I'm just going to come up, second bathroom and twin. Okay, so that's number five. I'm now gonna go across to number two. Number one and the house. And it's the meadow over there. So number two sleeps four people. It's got a king and a twin. It's a lounge. Cottages are all self-catering and then, as I said earlier, we've got five um, bedrooms as well, hotel cell bedrooms, so they're not self-catering. The cottages are the twin. Bathroom and the king. Okay, so that hopefully gives you an idea what the cottages are like. I'm going to make my way up to the house now. So this was originally um, a dairy farm and this house would have been the original farmhouse. Here's the bar. It's the back of the first um, cottage we went into. You can see they've got the doors open on the red brick barn. Beyond that, the really rustic barn. And then the building there with the open wooden doors is the wedding barn. So two indoor places to get married and two outdoors. So just coming up to the farmhouse. I'm going to go around the side and show you the views out the back as well. So hopefully it's sort of piecing it together for you. This is the old tennis court. It is a very pretty time of year with all the wildflowers. So this house is all in its own ground, so this is all part of the house up to that hedge there. And all the flowers are out, it's lovely. Um, and that's Bodmin Moor, so you can see Sharp Tor just sticking out from behind that tree. And then for those of you that know the area, you're looking up at the 
um, engine houses at Minions there. I don't know if you can see them in the horizon and the cheese rings. Okay. So we really have got lovely views all round and not much in the way of um, passing traffic or anything. There we go. That's the old tennis court. So I am coming in to the house. So the house has got seven bedrooms, it sleeps 12 people and um, it's got two single rooms, three kings and two twins. I'm coming into the kitchen diner. So if I just give you a quick look around here. So this is the dining room. And then the kitchen, it's got two downstairs bedrooms, if anyone can't manage the stairs. I'm not going to go into all the bedrooms in the house because I think we'll get a bit... Um, you have seen enough by then. Um, here is the lounge. The house is lovely. Lots of the rooms have got, um, you know, more than one window, which makes it lovely and bright. So I'm going to go up this to the first half landing, and then here we have a master suite. So you've got the views out the back there as well. A sharp door. Um, so this is sometimes used as a kind of room for getting ready in. It's got a, it's got its own sort of suite up here, so it's got a bedroom dressing room and bathroom. Okay, and I'm gonna go up to the next landing where there's another four bedrooms. And so there's altogether the seven bedrooms, sleeps 12 people and there's four bathrooms. I'll just go into a couple of the rooms so you'll start to get the idea. So here you've got four bedrooms and two bathrooms, another two bathrooms. So this is um, one of the king rooms. Just have a little look out the window. So you're just looking down there, there's the bar and the back of the um, big barn that we went into with the accommodation earlier. I'm not sure what my video skills are like, but hopefully you're getting some idea what it looks like. And this is one of the king rooms. I uh, twin rooms, sorry. And the cherry tree. <laughs> okay. So, um, let me now come out of the house and I'll just point out some, um, some of the other accommodations. So we have just added another five hotel style rooms that sleep an extra 10 people. Um, now it's a little bit difficult to explain. They're not quite finished yet, but they're very close to finished. So you've got this, this long barn in front of me is the wedding barn. On the end of that, where that little green door is open, that's going to be one of the new rooms, which is the honeymoon suite. And then there's another leg of that barn, so it's an L, if you imagine, an L shape. And the other leg of that barn is where you've got the other four rooms. So you've got the honeymoon suite plus another four, and I'll show you them from the front later in the tour. Okay, I'll point them out as we go around the function room. So that's essentially an overview of the accommodation. I am now going to go and show you around the function rooms. So the first one I'm going to go to is the bar. So we don't have, we're really lucky, we don't have any rooms that need to be used for more than one thing. Everything's kind of got its own purpose. So there aren't any sort of rush turnarounds or anything like that. And the bar is where you would have any celebrations that you were having the night before. It's where people could have a drink. Um, on the day of the wedding when they get here. Um, so it's a really useful space. I'll just go to the middle and then give you a little turn around. The bar, there's the bar. <laughs> um, I'll 
Maybe a sort of 360. So yeah, it's great. It's a lovely space to enjoy the night before. Got doors open today. And it's also, this is also where we would have breakfasts, etc. So you would set up the red brick barn, the main function room. Everything could be done the day before. And then there isn't really any need to go back in there until you're actually having your wedding meal. And then the things the night before and breakfast, etc. would all be done in here. We have two kitchens. We have one in here and one in the red brick barn. Okay, so that's the bar. I'll just come out the front and show it to you from the front as well before I go around. Okay, that's the bar. So we're kind of almost back where we started. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to show you the wedding barn. So the wedding barn um, is one of the places where you can get married indoors. So at the moment, the way things are in the UK, in England and Wales, um, you, you can get married outdoors. You have to have a fixed structure above your head. Um, but if it's a rainy day, um, the registrars would want to do the ceremony inside so you have to have an indoor option that you're happy with as well so this is one of our indoor options this is the wedding barn this is an old milking parlor so we've got the chairs set up today on an angle some couples like them on an angle, some couples like them straight it's a really unusual building and I'll point it out again when we go outside but the floor is level, but the ceiling slope, the roof slopes upwards. So as we go up, we get loads more space above our heads. It's a little bit of an optical illusion. So if you're looking at this thinking that's a bit strange, that's why. That's a wedding barn. The other option for an indoor ceremony would be the really rustic barn, which <laughs> is just a really rustic barn. So it kind of depends what you're looking for. The bunting and the fairy lights um, would be here. We can take the bunting down if that's not kind of what you had envisaged. The whole venue is, is set up to give you some um, decoration but you can put as much into that as you want to really um and that is just down to kind of personal preference really and i think as well a little bit of whether you're hoping for more of an outdoor day or an indoor day let me come back down so that's the wedding barn i'll just pop out and see if you give you a sense of how much it slopes upwards i don't know if you can see that but <laughs> it is very strange to have building that's actually built on the slope like that but there you go I think there was a reason for it but um, maybe not go into that now um so this is a little courtyard I hope that wind's not affecting the sound oh there's Mike he pops up in all my videos <laughs> um this is our little courtyard and, and where Mike is going in there now that is one of the new bedrooms and along to the right there's another three so you've got four that are accessed from here and one honeymoon suite that's accessed from the other side that I showed you earlier. Um, we also are really pleased that our new accommodation does have a fully wheelchair accessible room because we didn't have that before. So that's right on the end and it's got some park in there too. So we're really pleased to have that because it wasn't something that we had before. Um, this courtyard is just really quite nice for people to kind of spill out into at night. It's got the festoon lighting as well. So well, I'm coming up onto the terrace and I'm going to go, that's the red brick barn. I'm going to go straight to the really rustic barn. This lawn's nice. You can just imagine people kind of spilling out onto here. Um, again, just looking down into the valley there onto the trees. I'm going to go to the really rustic barn first and then I'm going to come back to the red brick barn. Oh, it's very pretty today. I mean it's pretty at all times of the year but I think late spring is 
gorgeous, right? So I'm, <laughs> I'm coming into the really rustic brand. It's not everybody's cup of tea, so um, you may hate it. You may love it. Um, I'll just come to the middle and then do a little spin. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. So there's the red brick in its raw state. Again, you've got the sloping floor. Um, really just left this. That's nice when you look out, isn't it? Um, really just left it like this to give people that option. And then you've got this wall that's clad in the corrugated. And then you've got the red brick at the end. So the, the options for this barn would be, it is licensed, you can get married in here. You can use it for, um, as a sort of indoor outdoor space. So if, if you were planning more of an outdoor wedding and as we all know, um, you can't really predict the weather in the UK. You could have your games in here instead, your, you know, your garden games in here instead, etc. And if you really can't see a purpose for it, um, you'll probably use it for photographs because I think the photographers all really like it. Okay, so that's the red brick, sorry, the really rustic barn. So I'm going to come down into the red brick barn. So the bar and the red brick barn um, have all got heating and air conditioning and everything. So they're kind of perfect whatever time of year, whatever the weather's doing. So obviously I've got all these doors open today. I wonder if I can turn the camera on its side. I'm going to try. I don't know if that's going to be weird. Um, so I've got these doors open today, um, but even with them closed, obviously you're still getting that view and an awful lot of light in. So I, you know, if the, if this if this these doors weren't open, the entrance would be on the left. But I'm going to come in here. Um, so again, this is the main function room. I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a spin round from the middle. So there's the bar. Um, there's the red bricks being cleaned up in here. And then you're just looking out at that view, onto the terrace, and then around again. So um, there are fairy lights, etc. in here. There's quite a lot of architectural features, but it's up to you how much you want to, to do with this in terms of actually um, adding your own touch. We've got round or trestle tables. You saw the folding wooden chairs when we were in the um, when we were in the wedding barn. I'll show you the chairs we've got for in here. We've got um, these um, Cheltenham chairs, and they've got ivory seat cushions, so you're just a little bit more comfortable if you're sitting on them for a little bit longer for the meal. Um, but I don't think we've got any horrible chairs that you're more going to want to cover up or anything like that necessarily. Uh, so yeah, so this would be set up um, with round or trestles or combination, whatever you want. If you're having a more traditional kind of top table, sometimes couples have it here against that red brick wall. And then the photographs are quite nice with that in the background. There's a little shelf there for decoration as well. A couple of shelves, I don't know if you can see them. There's loads of hooks that you can hang things on as well. If you have a look at the real wedding albums on our website, you'll get loads of inspiration for different things you could do. Um, sometimes people have a top table along by the window, which is also lovely. Um, and then sometimes people don't have a top table at all. So there's lots of different combinations of um, what you can do in terms of table planning. So hopefully, I should have said as well, so, so the bar in, in here, it's all heating and air conditioning. Both the bar and in here, we've got built-in sound systems, so you can see some sockets there, some sockets there. So you can just plug your device. The bands and DJs would plug into those sockets and you can plug your device into the sockets as well, just for your own playlists, etc. for background. So it's the same in the bar as well. All right, so that, those are the function rooms. So I'm going to come down now <laughs> and I'm going to do a tour of the grounds. So I'll come down this way so I can turn around and look back at this barn so you get a sense of where it is. So we've got quite a lot of grounds and um, 
I'll do a quick tour and I'll take you down to the other um, outdoor ceremony location as well, which is down at the lake. We've got some, we've got a lake, a small lake and some river frontage, which is beautiful. Um, oh, the wind isn't too, no oh, too noisy. Well done, rabbit hole. <laughs> so if anyone's watched the, um, the one I did in March, you'll see it is quite different now. Let me just turn around here and give you try and give you a sense of where we are. So, so we're looking back at number two there, and then we're looking at the other side. The the building in the foreground is the other side of um, the barn with the three quarters in it that we went into initially. We've got the office there, and then I don't know whether to turn this around or not. I'll need to ask my teenage children how to do this. And um, that is looking back up at the red brick barn and the really rustic barn. Okay, so hopefully, it's quite difficult to picture this from photographs, so hopefully this video kind of helps you to piece it all together. So I'm just gonna go around this fence and then zigzag back down there. We've got some elderflowers coming out, that's nice. Down there. So looking at the oak arbor there, so obviously if you were getting married under the oak arbor, we would put chairs out on this lawn. And as I said earlier, it's quite shady at the moment because it's about half ten, but as the day goes on, obviously you get a little bit more direct light on there. Um, so number two, I'm just swinging around. That's the meadow, just through that gap, so we'll come back up that way. And you really will have seen the whole thing. I'll just let you look back up at number one. Actually, it's quite nice to look back up. I'll do another little spin around here so you can see everything. That's the arbour. Number two. Number one, actually, yeah, that's quite nice. I guess you kind of get a picture of where it all is. I'll do that again. So that's the arbour. Number two, number one, the house, um, the big barn, <laughs> the office. You don't need to worry too much about that. And then I'm going. I'm coming along to the woodland walk. Woodland walk. That's our wood fired hot tub up there, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to go through this little gate into the woods. As I said, um, we've got a little lake down there, so we have got gates um, because it's just to stop any children from wandering down to bits where it. Um, that aren't as child friendly. We might have bluebells, I don't know if it's too late. I think they're past the best, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I think we're a bit late for the bluebells, but there are some lovely pictures of them on the website. They would, they're kind of here, you can sort of see them a little bit. Oh, it smells amazing in here, actually. Yeah, so the bluebells are a little bit gone now, but it's just a carpet of them here um, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just heading along to the viewing point. So our address is Upton Cross, um, but we're quite close to the village of Rilla Mill. So you'll see the village in the distance as we go. We're actually closer to Rilla Mill. You'll see the village in the distance as we come along the viewing point. So... Just, I'll just walk up here a little bit so you can get your bearings. So this is the viewing point. You've got Rilla Mill just down there. And then you've got Kit Hill. Dartmoor in the distance. I'll do a little, just goes down to where that bench is. I don't know if you can see the bench. Coming round back to the woods. So I'll go 
have to go back where I came from unfortunately and then we'll go down to the lake and the arbour down there I hope it's not too um not too much movement This was um, where the yard cheese was originally made and anyone who knows the cheese knows it's covered in nettles. Um, so you can probably start to get the idea of where they got the plan for covering them in nettles from. <laughs> As there's quite a few in these woods. Okay, so coming back through. So if you were to get married at the Lake Harbour, um, obviously it's not as accessible as the top harbour. Um, you you can come down the way we're walking down now. Um, you wouldn't have to obviously go to the viewing point, but you would come through that gate and then just, just um, double back on yourself after you come down these stairs. And then you can wind down through the woods because that's quite nice because you get some lovely photos. Um, but... You can also just go down over the meadow, which is the way we're going to go back up. And um, if anyone can't walk down, you you can drop people off. There's a gate, um, but it isn't quite obviously as accessible as the Oak Arbor. We use the Oak Arbor. We use the, the bottom arbor, the Lake Arbor, for all of our intimate weddings. I suppose I should show you what's around us as well as what's just in front of us. So yeah. <laughs> completely different to how it looked um, when I last did this in March but always lovely really you would have had the wild, the wild garlic then you can see much between the trees but that's looking back up at that big barn with the three cottages in it so just to help you understand where we are When you live here, you could fast forward this bit. I should have said, oops. I've seen a kingfisher down here before, so I'll, I'll come down quietly in case I see anything. There's quite a lot of wildlife down here, as long as I've not got our horrible little terrier with me. So there's a the meadow, that's the way we'll go back up, and that's just where we've come from. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Spring flowers. Right, so we're just coming down to the lake. And, oh, the lake arbor. This is a cherry tree. Sometimes you can get the cherries on here, but if you get them before the birds, they're not ready yet. But the birds normally get them first. Let's look them back up the meadow. Oh, so the um, the uh, the lake harbour is looking really pretty today. So this is the lake and the arbour. We would put chairs down here, obviously. It's not it's a slightly more relaxed. If you have a large wedding down here, it's a slightly more relaxed um, style with the chairs. But we can 140 is our maximum number of guests, and we can seat 140 down here but they wouldn't be in straight rows like they would be at the top. I'm just going to show you the river. <laughs> you can hear it probably better than see it. Um, oh.
this that's a little like, ram house down there so in back in the day they would have used that to pump water up to the farm but when we converted the barns um, we made provision for the bats to go and live in there so that's effectively our little bat house now I won't go in there um, and then there's kind of two parts to this lake and there's a little bit where you can walk along the middle so I'm going to do that <laughs> 